Let's compute the R squared and F statistic from our Alders example. In the table we have the values of X, the values of Y, our predicted values, and then our three components to our sums of squares. The residual sum of squares, the regression sum of squares, and the total sum of squares. The residual sum of squares is just yi minus y hat squared. So it's 47 minus 38.69 all squared. The regression sum of squares is y hat minus y bar squared. So it's 38 minus 50 squared, which gives us 127. And then the total sum of squares is just yi minus y bar squared. So it's 47 minus 50 squared, which gives us 9. We're going to do that for each of our observations and sum up these columns to get our different sums of squares. So we have res SS equal to this, reg SS equal to that, and total sum of squares equal to that. Right away, we can see that the regression sum of squares is much larger than the residual sum of squares. So we're probably going to have a pretty high R squared. By taking the ratio of reg SS over TSS, we compute an R squared of 0.82, or 82%. So 82% of the variance in the number of alders is controlled or is explained by how much moisture there is in the ground. Let's compute the F test. So step one is that the null is to state the null hypothesis that R whoops that row squared equals zero. The alternative hypothesis is that row squared is greater than zero. We're going to use an F test where F equals R squared times N minus 2 over 1 minus r squared. And this is going to have the, the first degrees of freedom parameter is equal to 1, and the second degrees of freedom parameter, sorry, df2, is equal to n minus 2. We had 10 observations, so we have 8 degrees of freedom. We haven't set a significance level, so let's just set it to 0 0.05, or 5%. Next, we can set up our curve. So here's our F, and we're going to have a critical value over here with 5% of the area to the right of the critical value. I believe I've produced this already. So based on our F table at the back of the book, we can find the critical value is 5.3. So the critical value here is 5.3. Next we need to compute F. So F equals R squared, so 0 0.82 squared times n minus 2 over 1 minus 0 0.82 squared. And we're going to cheat the math and see, I've already computed it, it's equal to 36.4. So that's going to place our F test way over here in the tail of the distribution. 36.4 it's in the zone of rejection. So six, we have to reject the null. So our assumption in the null hypothesis was that there's no relationship between the two variables. But based on our statistical test, we can reject that assumption. And instead, we can uh, choose the alternative hypothesis that the number of alders is related to the amount of moisture in the ground.